Now let's move on to the second principle, which is geologic structure is a dominant control factor in the evolution of landforms and is reflected in them. Here, firstly, you can start writing with the trio of Davis, that is, landform is the function of structure, process, and time. Then explain what is geological structure and the dominant control factors. Firstly, the geological structure here means the regolith, that is the type of rock the landform is made up of. Like the hard rock, the soft rock. The soft rock gets eroded faster than the hard rock. And give some examples of that. Next keyword here is dominant control factor. Uh, uh, that is the geomorphic processes operating on the landform depends not only on the agent of erosion but also on the type of rock uh, the intensity of the process is determined by the rock type like uh, the folding and faulting hardness of the rock permeability and chemical properties of the rock uh, the rate of weathering and erosion is different in the rocks with different structure and nature the climatic conditions like temperature precipitation soil and humidity also have its effect on the rate of processes take the example like water seeps down easily through permeable sandstone rock due to which the surface floor is less and the number of stream is also less but water cannot easily seep down through impermeable shale, uh, shale rock due to which the surface floor is more and the uh, number of stream is also more the permeability of rocks depend upon the joints and bedding plane uh, the structures that are created like valleys, gorges, waterfalls, etc. are a reflection of the rocks. Even in erosional surfaces also, there will be reflection of the parent rock. Please write down your answers in 250 words and submit it by Thursday. Thank you.